Hello boys and girls, welcome to another Game Shed video with me, your host, Jamie. Today, I'm stepping way back in time with this Codemasters Classic Street Gang Football being played on the Amstrad CPC 464. This game was also available, I believe, on the Spectrum and came out in about 1989. I would have been 8 years old at the time this came out. And I do remember being very excited at seeing this in my local newsagent where I'd pick up all my games. Um, the average selling price of a game was 99 pence, so a penny under a pound. And when I was eight, I was getting about £2.50 pocket money. So on a Saturday morning, Mumsy would chuck me £2.50. I'd peg it down the shop. I'd flick through the library of games that the shop had pick out one and then spend the other one pound fifty on utter crap like sweets and a fizzy drink so let's get this game underway street gang football it's um yes yeah, it's, it's like many other football games in that you've got to score a goal and do some football however you'll see here that you are playing football on a road and you can knock the ball off various obstacles such as the pavement, walls, cars, bins etc. So it makes it a bit more challenging, um, a bit like indoor football uh, just with a variation on the pitch. Uh, the buttons are relatively straightforward, you've got forwards, backwards, left, right and your action button. Now your action button serves as tackle, shoot and pass and also change character which can be very infuriating at times but nonetheless it does work and you know back in 89 we weren't used to having rumble pack controllers with 45 buttons and two analog sticks and look at that I take my first shot of the half and the whistle blows as the ball is in midair not happy about that A referee should be sacked so second half getting underway now didn't mention earlier you can probably tell here I am the white team player one the premise of this game is your street gangs taking on other street gangs rather than with weapons such as many of this generation's games like Renegade, Double Dragon and the like you're actually just playing football you can see the character on the right hand side of the screen there the mohawk dude with his big chunky boots on and his uh, denims he does look pretty uh, content and ready for a game of football don't he and there you go that was a uh, 1-0 to me game's pretty simple it's fairly enjoyable not the best Amstrad football game but nonetheless definitely worth a play I'm gonna score this I'm gonna give it a fairly fairly average 6 out of 10 give it a go with your mate 2 player you, you know it is a bit more enjoyable than the 1 player and that's it game over I win 1-0 so Hopefully over the next few weeks we're going to visit some Commodore, some Amstrad, some Spectrum, a few more older generation things. And if you want to tell us or ask us to play something in particular, get in touch with us on Twitter at this address here, at Games Shed. Also you can uh, pop down to our website at this address here. Loads of retro gaming action on there. So until the next video, my name's Jamie. Goodbye.